Guys, my blobfish is asking me for tea. The blobfish wants to drink green tea. I have seen it all at this point. But I did not expect my blobfish to want tea. Now that, that's, um, that's something, man. Sure, green tea for blobfish. Coming right up. What else would you like, sir? Triple shot espresso. It's crazy. Alright, so let's uh, dunk some green tea and pollute the pond. And uh, that should make them plenty happy. So that's good news for us. Our Junimos, meaning our slaves, seem to be going to good work. Uh, and since since the last episode, I'm just pretty much focusing on Mr. Key's challenges right now. Because as I've said before, uh, that's pretty much the end game, and there's nothing else left for us to really focus on. So this will be a mostly farming episode. But uh, if some interesting things do happen, I will you know definitely try to catch that on screen, such as the blobfish uh, creature, which I never expected to to you know need. Uh, <laughs> Something so ordinary requires me for some tea like an Englishman, which is pretty disturbing by the way uh, Not to say the English people are disturbing or what but uh, But hell you guys are pretty disturbing too, right? <laughs> okay, anyway uh, No offense here. We have what is this? I think we've got a lot of iridium feathers actually you can start selling some I'm also trying to see if I should go to 10 million and spend it on the gold clock just because it's the only thing I've not bought from the wizard but at the same time I'm a little bit worried that um, I may suddenly need like a lot of gold to do something for uh, Mr. Key and Mr. Key has been getting pretty demanding uh, in recent times so it's hard to say these are trees let's not kill the trees accidentally all right, uh, we got our ostriches. They're all happy. Which is great news for us. Kekko, interesting. I like the sound the ostrich makes. I just wish that Concern Ape had added added a sound for the little dinosaurs. They still do not make any sound, and it's a little bit uh, disturbing. As much as I would like, no, you don't escape. As much as I would like. Uh, the dinosaurs to not be, you know, scary to the rest of my farm animals. Having, you know, dinosaurs establish the fact that you have some kind of dominance over the world and this universe. Can you step away from the fence? I don't allow you to pass through the fence. Go away. Okay. So, yeah, I would like the dinosaurs to have some sound. Please, next batch. Concern Ape. Um, okay, let's see. Um... I have been switching out like between this game and Hades and what do you call this, uh, Ori and the controls man. Sometimes I just forget the controls because they are so different. The three games are so so different. The only game that doesn't really bother me uh, to know the controls so much is of course uh, what do you call this, Democracy and I mean, yeah, you don't need to know the controls that well for democracy for obvious reasons, but still. Um, right, uh, here we go. Oh, I, I, do, I can put some eggs in though. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Is that, a, is that a okay for me to do that? I think it's okay. Yeah. So, democracy, of course, you, you are very much performing a like uh, what kind of game is that you call it's like a simulation game so you definitely do not need to worry about um, your controls that much because you're just clicking stuff and telling people how to die and do things uniquely I have a lot of regular quality wool huh you know what let's just sell like a whole bunch of these I used to stock up a lot of these um, wool because I was never really sure if the game would suddenly tell me I need wool to like, you know, glow the hundred, um, what do you call this, uh, slimes or whatever, I don't know, but yeah, it never never came to that, thankfully. So I guess it's time to sell the iridium quality cloth. Okay, let's put these in. Um, what, what, wait, do I need to hatch more slime? 
There's quite a variety of you guys. I see. I notice there's a lot of tiger slime. In particular, do I need more purple? Oh, I think there's sufficient purple. There's a male, a female. What about the green ones? There's a male, there's a female. The blue ones don't have a. Is this the male with the antenna? Not sure. All right, let's take the purple one just to set it off because it's it's excess. We don't need that many. Let's check inside here. So Grandpa has never given a damn to visit us after us after we spend time uh, petting his, you know, the dog, our dog, and whatever. But uh, despite our recent achievements, Grandpa has decided that I do need to visit you again. Uh, however, I could be wrong, and maybe if I go during the same uh, winter night, you know, like the first night of winter or something like that, maybe there is a chance Grandpa just finally visit me. So I obviously don't know this because I skipped so many winters trying to blitz through to spring and get the coffee machine task uh, done. Coffee maker, right? A coffee maker task done. Okay, so that's settled. The pigs are continuously producing truffle, which is great for us. Let's check the winery. Um, is it winery or winery? It's a vineyard, right? Vineyard. Why do they call it vineyard, anyway? Um, I don't have ancient fruit. I have other stuff that I could make... Uh, alcohol out of but hey it's all right yeah in case the game tells you otherwise don't believe it for a second we are producing a lot of alcohol in this game alcohol is the ultimate uh what do you call this cash maker let's make some mango pickle mango is it pickled mango let's make some pickled mango because we don't really uh do much in mango we, we do a lot of banana pudding that's for sure so Right, I sell the cauliflower, uh, the wool, adios. Uh, we're gonna keep some apricot just for the fun of it. Uh, let's take some iridium cherry with this and stash it. Sell the milk, sell the mayo, cheese, the egg, the cloth. Um, yeah, I think I think that's pretty good, right? So besides making money, right? Besides making money. Um, we also need to find a way to gather more of these individual resources because Mr. Key keeps asking us for one of each colored gem. And as you can see, we have close to 50 of each of these. We have close to 50 aquamarines, uh, close to like 50 am am amethysts. Uh, I think it's ruby, topaz. I don't know, but he said one of each color. So it'll be better if we just have 100 of each. That way we don't have to worry about uh, running out of things. But yeah, I could just pick up the, the, the task just to see how much he really needs, right? Yeah, probably I'll do that actually. Oh, let's not nuke our house for whatever reason. That'll be terrifying. Okay, let's stash these. I think we can grab about that many. Uh, okay, let's see. We have our, yeah, we do have Iridium Cherry, so we don't need to hold on to these. Uh, let's take 20 of these, sure. Let's take the, uh, these are all the fruits, where the fruits are stored, and I got some forage as well. Right? Yeah, that's what it seems like. What about here? Are you all veggie? Yeah, you're all vegetables. Alright, this seems pretty organized, right? I would consider it organized. I know people label their chest and whatever like crazy, but hey. Not that particular. I'm going to sell the cake just because we keep getting quite a bit of cake and we don't really need uh, that much cake. Right? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's just take our horse for the fun of it and park him here. So ideally, we want to head to the island to check Mr. Key's quest. And we will be really, really lucky if we get the quest that wants us to um, get the 100,000 worth uh, food sold, which is what we've been farming so much coffee for. So let's pick these up. Man, I actually, yeah, with all these pineapple, like, would that alone be sufficient for me to get a hundred thousand worth of food? Hmm, that is an interesting thought. So I planted one uh, random seed on the island just to see what happens, and that looks unique. 
Not sure if that's a radish or, or what exactly it's supposed to be, but it looks unique. Uh, let's just pick up the rest of these. Can't I get a Junimo hut for the for the island? Can I do that? Hmm. I never really thought that far ahead. I don't think so though, because whenever I select the Junimo hut, it only uh, shows our farm, unless there's a way for me to toggle the the area. Oh well, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Certain things you just don't want to look up, you know? You want to just let it happen when it happens. Okay, let's just keep the pineapple with this, right? Let's just keep it. Just go past here. Actually, you know what? Let's get these. Wait, can I farm these? Oh no, champ. They're not ready. They're not ready. Fine. We haven't used ginger in a long, long time. Now that I, now that I realize. It just isn't that good of a, of a, you know, a plant. Um, okay, there's one day left for this. 50,000 in endless mode. Okay, we'll take that just to see, because there's one day left. And uh, I don't think we can do it, but we'll just try it for the fun of it. All right, we got a one walnut. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, so this is a recipe, right? And we probably need this to do the new legendary quest because the the fish definitely have to be seasonal, unless unless they all appear in the same season. Mm, I'm not sure about that either. So the hopper sounds really cool, except it loads the item in the machine in front of it, but it doesn't say whether it picks it up. So I'm worried about the fact that whatever that uh, machine creates will not be fetched. Uh, and it will just, you know, load once and that'll be the end of it. It also, I'm not sure if it requires anything to operate as well. I'm worried about that. Because a lot of the machines require coal. This one's radioactive though, so it should be infinite power or something, right? Uh... Right, this is a recipe as well. Quality crops, okay. I think this might be a way to get iridium quality crops. Because uh, it requires you to use iridium bar and 40 sap. And you get 5 of those. So it's like 1 iridium ore per iridium quality crop. Is that worth it? If you have an excess of iridium, yeah, maybe, I guess. Hyper speed grow radioactive plants just to kill everyone in the uh, town. Get them all radioactive, glowing. Walk around with like five arms, whatever. Heavy tapper, okay, that's fine. Uh, aquatic sanctuary, I really want to get this, but it's. I feel at this point I don't really need an aquarium unless unless you do something really special, which I'm not aware of. Mr. Key's hat, nah, I got a I got a way better looking hat. The seasoning though, so I heard this one is really powerful, but since you got to purchase it, it's a one-off purchase, I feel that it's not that good. If it's a recipe, I would. Magic bait. Wait, what? You have the recipe for magic bait. You have magic bait. Why don't you have the recipe for key seasoning? That's strange. Alright, this one grows a mushroom tree. Not really sure what's the point of that. I can get these randomly during some seasons. Galaxy Soul. Forge three of these into a galaxy weapon to unleash its final form. Now this sounds really cool, except I will need 120 key gems to get three of these. And that's assuming the cost doesn't increase after I purchase it. So that's pretty crazy. Deconstructor sounds terrible. Uh, pressure nozzle sounds reasonable. Uh, you only get four of those as a one-off. And richer, not really my thing. I don't really fertilize much of my crops. Uh, hopper items placed inside will automatically be loaded. Wait, what? Oh, this is the recipe to make the hopper. This is just the hopper. If you could buy the recipe, why would you just buy just that, right? The Junimo's uh, chest sounds really cool. Although I'm not sure how the inventory will show up 
when you have that many items in two chests? Or is it just one chest worth of slots, but you can just access it from two places? If that's the case, I wouldn't be so impressed. If it's double the inventory and allows me to access it from wherever, I think, yeah, that sounds a lot better. Horse loot sounds cool too. Anyway, we can't afford any of this. So the only thing we can do now is try our luck in Junimo card because there's one day left on the expiry. And then um, see how we do. Highly, like, highly, highly unlikely that we will be doing that well. Haven't practiced uh, Junimo card that much. So, And it's also a bit of luck, I think, because it's very much like a, something like Flappy Bird, right? So you gotta like really, gotta be really careful with it. But hey, since I'm playing Ori and the Will of the Wisps, I don't think I have much to complain, right? That game is also a jumping simulator, if anything else. Okay, just trying my luck to see what I get. Okay, so uh, we've done those. <sighs> 50,000 points in endless mode. Oh god, here we go. The decisions I make for you guys, right? It's just... It's just what it is. Okay, uh, what if I added... I need to add... Wait, I've added all the pineapples. 45 gold pineapples? Should I sell the rest of these? I could, right? I could, I could. Okay. Let's stash away whatever we collected. Let's just put these... Uh, coffee beans in here. Okay, let's see what we can sell. We can sell these, these. Uh, let's just keep the seeds for now. Hey, what the hell, right? Let's just keep the seeds, it's fine. A little bit of extra hoarding may go a long way. So, almost planted it though. That would be cool. Okay, so we're out of crops. Uh, should I buy more seeds just to plant? I don't really see the point of it. At this, I mean, at this stage of the game, but hey, some people, they are truly living the farmer's life, right? But trust me, no farmer is going to go cave diving uh, and uh, risk their entire life. That's her birthday as well? Oh, wow, I that was pure luck. Okay, let's check. Uh, this is Harvey, right? Harvey. Right, Harvey, fine. Let's give you a gift since I, since I see you along the way. Rock, seriously? Can I always walk over that pebble? No. Okay. Oh, you both look uh, like twins together. Actually, no, they look totally different. Sorry, that wasn't very nice of me. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, nope, nope, okay, neither for, ni no to both of them. Uh, Monday, they will change. So let's go and check what the, what it is tomorrow. And then let's also uh, try to do, try our luck at Junimo Cut and then see what Mr. Key asks us. Oh, we get to see this cutscene again because, uh, because I restarted the day. Yeah, so I showed this in the previous episode, but, but I restarted the day because I didn't really use the day properly. Alright, so I'm gonna show appreciation. That's the, that's the right answer. And he's gonna like... Yeah, he's gonna be super happy. Because we gave him a bunch of leek. And I don't think she even cooked it. So I don't know what his mama made years ago. She probably just... Like, took whatever leek she had and just shoved it down their throats. Sounds horrible, but... Hey, there's a lot of crazy people out there. Be careful, guys. Like, seriously. Right, let's give you more truffle oil. Wait. What's your friendship with this? Oh, okay. What's the Evelyn? Okay, Evelyn's friendship is also pretty low. So as you can see, we haven't given up on our truffle delivery uh, routine. But we're going to start the day early in the arcade. Just to make sure we do the right thing here. So, if I'm not mistaken, time freezes when we play Junimo Cut, right? Which means that I could just keep trying this forever, right? Okay, this is the Prayer King. This is Junimo Cut, Endless Mode, okay. So, how do I uh, jump? Is it a spacebar or is it click? 
Seems like click does it. This is what it seems like. Damn, can I even get a coin here? Oh. Alright, I see why um see why it's gonna be tricky. So what's the score that I gotta get? Fifty is it fifty thousand? Because it says the best is fifty thousand, but I'm not sure if that's my best or uh, just oh no, come on. Okay. I'm not sure if that's my best or like the best. Okay. This one is a lot easier, I think, so far. No, how could we miss that? Alright, fine. Are you serious? C can I can I like jump and then go down or something? No, are you kidding me? Okay, this is a lot more difficult than it looks, and it's probably a lot more painful than it looks for you guys. Oh boy, here we go. That's a good thing I dodged that somehow by a miracle. Okay. I think baby steps is the kind of the trick here, but seriously. Okay. Oh. Oh wow. Uh, I got the fruits though, but I guess I couldn't end the the round the right way. Okay, so the fruits is the ultimate objective, but I'm not sure what the gold is for. I think the gold just bumps the um, score. Come on, they should have reached. Okay, seriously? Uh, okay, fine. I can't double jump in this, right? Yeah, I can't. Okay. So I just gotta make sure my jump timing is perfect. And then, someday, I'll reach the end of this. Okay. Okay, let's not be too concerned about the goal. Let's just try to get the fruits and get the hell out of here if we can. What? 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 Oh, the 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 incoming rock uh, off screen killed me. Nice game, nice. I'm sure, you think that's absolutely fair. Plus the RNG makes the map look different every single time. Great design, though I must say. Missing the first fruit, I might as well suicide, right? What's the point of me uh, going on actually? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just try to focus on the fruits at least. Just to get our uh, points going. No! C come on! Okay, fine. Uh, I'm gonna title this as a sucking in Junimo cut because it's what it is. Yep, that's definitely what it is. I have no idea why. It it didn't want to jump there, so can I just jump? Yeah, okay. The moment I hear the clunk, I should be able to jump. Clunk, clunk, yep. I think the clunk is the trick in this game. You gotta clunk it in the right. Okay, maybe not. Also, it really depends on how long you hold. It uh, affects your jump height, so. It's well designed, it's just a pain to go through the design. Something like Ori, you know? Ori is a game which is really well designed. It's just a real pain to, uh, to. No, I'm not sure what I was going for there. It's just a real pain to want to play through the uh, the wide range of mechanics required for you to, like, uh, traverse through the game. So yep, yeah, this is this is me. This is also a trailer from of me playing Ori. In case you guys haven't watched that, this is what most of it looks like. Come on. Oh, that one's really tricky, huh? And that barrier there made it even worse. Right, so I gotta look in front rather than uh, where the cot is. I think that's the best way to play it. But to do that, I gotta do this in pure uh, muscle memory of some sort. So, yeah, you see that? I, I pulled that off reasonably well, if I say so myself. I knew what I was doing. It's just uh, not as easy as it seems for me to keep doing this all the time, you know? Plus, it's pure estimation, so... Yeah, see that? Could have got the jump if I was just... A fraction of a second earlier. Yeah. Alright, alright. I think we can practice this way and then get the right RNG. And eventually, uh, you know, be done with it. Mm, interesting, so... I can't jump too early. I have to jump just on time. 
Not sure why breaking the board kills us, but apparently it does. So we lost the cherry because we wanted coin, which is probably a bad decision. Oh, that's that's very bad. I should have just gone all the way for their lunch, but I wasn't sure if I'll make it. No, I don't think so. Right? Don't think we can jump that far. Yeah. That's uh, it's tricky when it comes close to you like that, and then you gotta make the right decision. Yeah, this one is a lot easier because you can see it's wider. You don't have to think uh, that hard. Okay. That was a little bit tricky there. And sometimes you gotta trust the, uh, the, the pathing that's already set up for you. Sometimes you can't. Uh, because it is RNG in the end. Okay. I'm understanding that mechanic a little better. Yep. And we are playing way off screen, which is not good for us. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, this is a little better. We are closer to the ground. Okay, now the game decides just to throw us off the entire map. Crazy. Oh boy. Junimo Kart. You are you are something, aren't you? Okay, let's try oh uh, oh is the space bar worse? Yeah. Let's try with the space bar and see how horrible that is. So this is my left hand, as you can probably tell. It's uh, horrible. Uh, but, oh no, how did I miss that? Yep, uh, left hand is a lot worse. I think I'll stick to the mouse. Uh, seems to be the wider, de I mean, wiser decision. <laughs> wider decision, what on earth was that? No, come on! It should have reached. Nope. Uh, okay. It's not about the coin. It's not about the coin. Just get the cherry. Oh no, I should have reached that. Come on, that was pretty close. Right? I don't know actually. Starting to doubt my own uh, thought process here. Okay. No, <laughs> we jumped way too high for that. We jumped way too high. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> so that last part would have been nice if we could make all the short jumps. But uh, short jumps just seems to be a little bit tricky right now for me. Ooh, and that boulder came in the perfect time before I could get out of the way, huh? So that's pretty... Oh, that's lucky though. Oh, that... Okay, never mind. Take it back. Well, that round really screwed us with the rocks, huh? So many rocks. Crazy. Okay. I'm not sure if it gets difficult on purpose if you perform well. But I hope that's not the case because that would be too much for our heart to bear with. Uh, let's just... Oh. Oh, that is tricky. That was really tricky. It's like, it was like almost no matter what decision you made, it would have screwed you over. Plus, um, you can't rely on the way you played in the previous round because of the way the terrain changes. Really cool, actually. Now that I think about it. Okay, we survived that, but we lost the fruit, so might as well just take the L, you know? Although I'm not sure if, oh, uh, although I'm not sure what happens if you don't get the fruit in the end. Is it just points or is it something else? Okay. Seems to have been a long journey with no fruit. I have no idea why. Game was almost testing our patience. Oh, we broke the, the barrier perfectly that time, but we just plunged over that. Nice. Oh, wow. How did we do that? That was pure reflex, huh? No, that was terrible. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, the cherry there. Actually, it was the coin that killed me. Had I not gone for the coin, I think uh, we would have been fine. Okay, never mind. We missed the fruit there. Oh, how did we miss that platform? It's like, 
It's like you have to be on point, but it's also a risk for you to be too early. Okay. I guess some people really uh, practice Junimo Kart, huh? Like, no shame. Like, some people really just go all out practicing this. It's crazy, man. Now I have mad respect for you all. Nope. <laughs> no way I would have gotten that. Knowing me, no way I would have gotten that. Okay. We barely made it, but we made it. Okay. 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 We finally did it. We got the three fruits. But now we are in a new place, which is probably... Oh, what the hell was that? Whoa, ice, huh? So it actually slips us. Uh, but I call that I call that a victory in my book. So we made it past the first stage of Junimo Kart. So that is an achievement, I think. Uh, although... Whoa, that was close. Although I'm not sure how long we can keep this up. Yep. So it looks like we're doing a lot better than we used to because now we are actually familiar with some of the jumping timing and the mechanics. But uh, hey, if RNG decides to screw you over like that, there's really nothing you can do. Wow. How did I even do that? Nope. Almost got that fruit, but I missed it up. Messed it up, guys. So it looks like the fruits give you points. I'm not sure if they actually give you anything else. So, so looking at the points that we collected in the last round, what is it like, twelve thousand or something? So we gotta like do this what in five floors? Is that to the way it is? Probably. Sounds horrible, actually. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Okay. Oh no, come on. I should have been able to get the jump off. What? He didn't allow me to do that uh, jump. No. That was terrible. Okay. I think I think I can I need to practice more of these little platform jumps just to see how well we do. These are like the short jumps, right? They're really short jumps like that. Oh, and that's that's very bad for a long jump. Okay, let's just drop down here and try to... Yeah, that real short distance jump is like... It has to come early, but not too early. Yeah, like that. Oh, early, but not too early. Okay. Tricky, huh? But this is like the only... I uh, know, oh one of the two mini games, right? The other one is Journey of the... Uh, Prayer King or something, which is like a big folklore in this game. How did I miss that fruit? Why did I miss that fruit? Oh god. Okay, come on. Oh no. Alright, alright. Anyway, this is us spending our day in Junimo Kart. I'm sure, all of you have tried this and decided nope, this is just not it for me. Some of you decided this is just your thing and went nuts. Uh, whatever your decision is, Mr. Key wants it done. And there's really few people who can say no to Mr. Key. So there is that. 50,000 in Junimo Kart. Psychopaths. Why did they design this? Is there a mod to get this done? Because I'm pretty sure there is. Because there's like a mod for everything. So, I don't see why not Junimo card. Okay. Oh, that was a very bad decision. Should have gone down first. No idea how we did that, but we did that. Uh, 
Okay, so we managed to handle ourselves quite well there. Yeah, it's about 14,000, which is not the best uh, that we can ask for, but it's what we got. So we need to do this, I think, for three levels. Uh, or maybe four levels. I'm not sure how the difficulty goes up, but it could be whatever the game wants, you know? No, that that was way too difficult. How do we do that? We gotta break, we gotta jump and break the barrier. We gotta learn how to do that. Ooh, we gotta learn how to break the barrier, huh? Okay, let's try to practice on a barrier that we see. That way we can probably understand uh, the mechanics of it. Alright. Yeah, uh, looks like we are a lot smoother than we were before, for sure. But I want a barrier to try the breaking part. Uh, I don't see one. The game decide that it's not going to give us a barrier to practice. Because knowing this game, it'll do that. Okay, surprisingly not much resistance from that level. Okay, so yeah, it still comes to about 14,000, so... Right, let's do that. Just dodge whatever we need to dodge. Uh, Alright. Oh no, I should have got that. I was aiming a little bit too hard. Wow, but we are surprisingly doing a lot better in Junimokan. I guess this is what you call progress. See how you get better at something if you keep trying? Wow. Take this as motivation, guys. Whatever you do, if you keep trying, I think eventually you'll be doing a lot better in it. Oh no, <laughs> that's pretty close though. A little bit tricky. But yeah, let's focus too much on the uh, falling boulder there, which is what caused us the loss. But yeah, you get better eventually, and maybe if I was not commentating, I would do even better, I guess. I don't know. Could be. Can I practice breaking it? No, I can't. It's a little bit tricky. It's like you gotta land exactly on it. Uh, you know, like your Mario or something. Maybe that's what uh, helps you break it. So yeah. Oh oh. Ooh, that was a tricky decision, huh? Okay. We couldn't get that fruit, but it's okay because surviving is essentially more important. Now that we know that the fruits don't really help you much, I think what <laughs> Okay. Never mind. Just as I was saying it, I went for the fruit died like a madman. I guess that's the thing. Temptations. Get you killed, huh? Oh! Oh, the, 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 that jump was a little too high and I got caught in the, uh, the rails above us, which I should not have been focusing on. So how's your day, guys? This is a horrible episode, thanks to the Junimo card exploration, but uh, I would consider it a win in my books. I've never really made it past um, the first level of Junimo card, but today I think I can say that I have, which is sweet, right? Right. Oh boy, this is horrifying. Not sure how we survived that, but that was horrifying. Oh no, <laughs> we should have gone for the long one there. Now that I think about it. Yeah, sometimes I just gotta go for the longer jumps, right? Like that. Did I make it? No, I won't make it. Alright. At least knowing the limits of the jump will be good for me. So how far can I jump if I do that? About that far, huh? Right. So if I jump higher... But the fall is quite sharp though. The fall is not a slow fall, it's a really fast fall. So I gotta also know that. Ooh, no, a boulder really sneaked up on us. Alright. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I should have just, uh, should have just, uh, what do you call this? 
stayed up in the higher floor, I think, you know? I have the higher ground and then... You know, Anakin knows at least. Uh, okay, okay. What? How did I miss that? Yeah, I keep getting caught in the upper rail and that's causing my death, so I gotta remember... Oh, that's how you break it. Right, that's interesting. I'm not sure how we get up there, but we can't jump from it. I think there's too much, uh, too little time for us to make that jump. So yeah, that one's a little bit tricky, huh? Okay. Oh, went above that a little too soon, but it's okay. Okay, so if we don't get one fruit, how much does that, does that give us? Nothing really, it just... Uh, for some reason it just... Oh, wow, that was too fast for me. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's it for me for this one, guys. This is a crazy episode of uh, exploring Junimo Cut. And for some reason, I have actually enjoyed it for the most part. Being able to make it to the second floor was something I never expected to do. And time really does not move when you're playing Junimo Cut, so that's pretty awesome. So, wow, what a, what a crazy episode, huh? Maybe I'll head home and just uh, sleep it off to see what happens the next day. I could do that, right? Wife will be, where have you been? I have been playing a game in a game. And, uh, and Abigail wouldn't know a thing, right? Because she's an AI. She's an NPC. It's 6.40. And you want to call it a night? As I grow older, I can relate, man. That's crazy. Alright. Day 15 of spring. So, we, it is a Monday. Uh, the Junimo Cut Challenge would have reset, for sure. Great. And let's just check our fortune. It's extra luck day, sure, why not? Let's also check Mr. Key's challenge. Wow, okay. Wine takes literally forever to age. Forever? It's crazy. Oh, Okay, let's stash these up. Let's stash these up. Alright, let's head to see Mr. Key. See what he's got to say to us. Oof. I think we have... Espresso, right. I also heard the uh, recent patch allows us to cook in the um, in the island hut. Which is just a nice little addition. Because it just looked like it has a kitchen. And it didn't allow you to cook, so I guess it only makes sense, right? Okay, so let's see what we get. Hopefully we get the challenge we want. Find four prismatic shards. Find four prismatic shards. This is a doable thing, guys. Alright. I'll be right back. We'll do this in the next episode. Okay, guys. We are back. And we got lucky with the key quest. Uh, we didn't get the one that tells us to sell uh, 100,000 worth of food, but we got one that tells us to find four prismatics. And I think, I think it's doable, right? I really think it's doable. Okay, let's keep the food here. The bomb here, the food here. And uh, let's keep the espresso here. Let's keep these away. Let's keep this bomb as well. Right, so we should be able to find what we need in the um, in the skull cavern. Right. Um. Okay, how much of banana pudding can we make? We 
need the bananas in there, so let's grab, let's grab a uh, whole bunch of bananas. Okay, we can make another 20. We'll just take everything we can make, which is fine. It's just milk. Uh, stash these, sort those out. Right, let's also grab like a uh, few more espresso. Seven of those will be fine, I think. Stash these. Uh, Alright, and let's head to the Skull Cavern to start our day early. So it is a high luck day. And we got the keys challenge. So I see no reason why we should hold back. Just go straight to the Skull Cavern, dive as fast as we can, and then try to find the prismatics we need. He wants four, right? Four, okay. Four prismatic shots. And it says... It says place. It doesn't say I have to find them. Okay, you know what? We don't have much time, but let's just try this first. I think I kept them here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Right, let's head to the island and see if we can get this done. Because finding them and placing them seems like quite a painful ask too. So I think it is fair if he just wants us to put the ones we have found in the past. If that is true, we can complete this. But man, it's four uh, prismatic shots, right? That's a crazy ask though. But considering how my farming has been going, I think there's no harm. It's just uh, more so a question of what it gives us, right? Okay. It gave us, what, 50 key gems? I think 50 key gems is totally worth it, right? Oh, it gave us 40 key gems, because I think I had 20. Yeah, it gave us 40 key gems. Oh well, that was easy for us to do. I think that's that was pretty easy, so long as you have the prismatic. Uh, that's pretty easy to do. So, the Galaxy Soul is way out of my reach right now. But it doesn't look like we have unlocked any additional recipes. These are the only recipes that you can have. So, yeah. Right. Pierre's missing stock list. Let me just look up what this does. Right, so what it seems to do is it allows Pierre to sell the seeds that he usually sells all year round instead of during a particular season doesn't really appeal to me because it's not something I need. Uh, this one still sounds really cool. The horse flute also sounds cool. But it only works outdoors, so I don't really see where I'll be needing my horse that much. The key to the town sounds uh, a lot better of a deal for me. I don't think there's much else that I need besides the galaxy soul and the key to the town. And I'm really far off from collecting the galaxy souls that I want. So maybe the key to the town... But what's the point though? So what if I get the uh, key to the town? Does it give me any special cutscene? Uh, anything unique? Uh, no, really. It's just uh, it's just a way for me to to sneak into people's houses, I guess. All right, I'll save up. I think there's no harm in me saving up. Let's just head back to the town and let's check out. Uh, what the weekly task is. I think we've completed every task um, possible in the game. So, And now a leak spawns here? You gotta be kidding me. I've not seen leak all year round. Now it spawns here. I mean, all season. It's been crazy, man. Salmonberry, yay. Haven't seen these either. So these only show up in the 15th or something, right? Now there's leak. Great. I literally had to plant the seeds to find the leak. That's how crazy it was when I started. Alright. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to town. Here we go. Okay, interesting. So one salmon berry bush there. Okay. Um, what do you need? Huge number of cauliflowers. Ship. A hundred cauliflowers by the end of the season. You need 14 days. But a hundred cauliflowers though. I know what he's going to give me. He's going to give me a small shipping bin. Mm. 
Nope, neither of these are great, so I guess that's it. We pretty much solved the keys challenge. I, I really wished we had the one that allows us to... Uh, what do you call this? Um, uh, allows us to ship the 100,000 gold worth of food, because we farmed a lot for that. But I guess we'll find out in a week's time, because... You know, Mr. Key's not going anywhere, and uh, he can be pretty demanding sometimes. Right? Yeah. Right, Iridium Salmon. Let's see. Do we have a slot for Salmon Berry? We don't, actually. Yeah, let's sort that out. Fly Fiber. Alright, that's it for me. It's just a short update episode, I guess. There's not really much for me to show. So, I'm not sure if I can crop this into the previous one, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, guys.